Bishop, nice to see you again. Good to be here. Big weekend coming up. The Holy Father is going to the Holy Land. Uh, now, the Holy Father seems to be emphasizing the fact that this is a spiritual trip and not a political one. Uh, what's he trying to say to us? Well, the major reason he's going is to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the meeting of Paul VI and uh, Patriarch Athenagoras. So that's the spiritual focus. I mean, I remember when it happened. And so I uh, was uh, in the se minor seminary then, in the college seminary. So it was a momentous thing. It was the, the Orthodox Greek, especially the Greek Orthodox people, were so happy. And we saw that after a thousand years, we had a rapprochement between uh, the Orthodox Church, uh, head of the Orthodox Churches, basically Catra uh, Athanasius, and and the Holy See. So that was a great thing. But as he's going, you know, he, he's trying to touch bases with everybody. He's going first to Jordan, where he will, uh, you know, be paying some respect to the uh, the Arab situation there. And Jordan, that should have been very, very generous in taking refugees from Syria, from Egypt, from first from Iraq. Uh, so they're a country to be thanked for ha housing all of these people. Then he's going to going to go to uh, Bethlehem, where again we're looking at the uh, Christian Arabs who are uh, living there, much diminished in number over the years, but still they're there. And then he's going to go to the uh, Welling Wall, paying tribute uh, to uh, the Jewish nation there. So I mean he's touching all the bases. Mm -hmm. And um, although it's a spiritual trip, uh, there's always political ramifications. I say, it's always going to be some political always, overtones about it, right? So he's got to be very careful what he says and how he says it. Yeah. What do you think he is going to say about uh, you know the disappearing Christian communities in the in that area of the world? Well, I'm sure he's going to try to encourage them to stay. Uh, it's nice to encourage people to stay, but the problem is economically, they're second-class citizens, unfortunately. Uh, and, uh, you know, Bethlehem is a walled city now, new walls, keep, keeping them away from Jerusalem. So there's a lot of issues, and it's not easy to encourage people to suffer, really, is what you're asking almost, and stay there. So it is a, a difficult task he has. Yeah. Uh, I want to switch uh, this weekend, you know, uh, aside from that. It's also a, a, a holiday weekend here in the United States. We celebrate Memorial Day, which is it's kind of like a holiday that people, I think, lose sight of what the original yeah. meaning of it was. Uh, well, it's, it's, you know, there's a lot of sales going on. It's the beginning of summer, but summer. <laughs> that's not the reason that we have Memorial it's Day. not the reason. It is a day to remember the, those who have died in defense of the country. Monday I'll be in the cemetery. I'll be in, actually in uh, St. Charles Cemetery in Long Island. Uh, celebrating mass for every all the dead there, but we particularly remember the the war dead at that time. Um, people have given their lives for other people, and uh, so that's something to be remembered and to be prayed about. Mm -hmm. This is a day that people would traditionally come out to mm -hmm. the cemeteries, and they used to be called Decoration Day because uh, they would decorate the decorate graves. Decorate the, the graves. It was almost like a, f a family picnic, so to speak, yeah. back in way back when. Uh, so. Our cemeteries themselves are so well kept. It's like it's like going to a little park when you go to some of them. Yeah, they are very beautiful. Thank God, they are uh, maintained very well, and uh, so it does uh, you know help when you're visiting. You, you see that everything is in order, and you know your loved ones are at peace, but they're not there. Their bodies are there, but their their souls are with the Lord, and. Uh, it's uh, really uh, an encouragement to see these beautiful places. Sure. And why is it important to pray for the dead? I mean, uh... well, because it's the communion of saints we believe in that we they pray for us and we pray for them, uh, especially those who have not you know achieved union with God yet. So um, it is a tradition and an understanding that uh, we keep every Eucharist. We remember the dead in the uh, Eucharistic prayer. So it is a part of our understanding of how we celebrate the communion of the saints. Sure. And for people who want to attend at each of our cemeteries, somebody will be celebrating a field mass, and you will be at St. Charles. St. Charles, right, right. Bishop, thanks uh, so much, You're and welcome. have a nice weekend. Okay. okay.